Audre Lorde said that poetry for women is not a luxury, but a necessity. An authentic exploration of our vulnerability. Or your final. You'll each be constructing a self-portrait poem. The prompt is, how do you identify? How do you identify? Define it as you choose. You're a kitten. You are. I relate more to a husky. Fuck. It's gonna be late for work. Fuck. Fuck. Is there like an emergency at the library? The book fair's a pretty big deal this year. We're raising money for Vegans Against Drunk Driving. I feel bad. I feel like I never go down on you. That's cool. You're a pillow princess. I mean, I know I'm femme, but I can- You're high femme. I mean, I thought you were straight when we met. I thought you were a teenage boy when we met. I like that. I don't know what I am. You're golden. There's nothing wrong with you. No, I didn't say- My horoscope totally predicted this. I'm out. I'm nobody. Who are you? Are you nobody too? Then there's a pair of us. Don't tell. They'd banish us, you know. How dreary to be somebody. How public, like a frog. To tell your name the live long day to an admiring bog. Mmm, delicious. Dickinson was a pioneer of the self-portrait poem. Allocating vulnerability creates space to surface insecurities, dreams, fears embedded in you by the patri your patriarchy. Your feelings will flourish and fulgurate the page. That, that is essential for your final. Questions? Hi. Hi. When you said you were doing 99, Brittany, I was thinking private school girl. 
but I see you went for a butch, Brittany. You are lesbian, Brittany. <laughs> you are twink, Brittany. Well, I'm your number one fan. You're my number one slut. <laughs> yeah. I was watching this interview with Bell Hooks today. She said recognition is better than sex. I disagree. Hey, Stonewall Warehouse, are you ready for your next entertainer? <laughs> this next bitch. She is just awful. Y'all, give it up for Tara Will Pennant. Do you see me? I'm not screaming. Should I wear a sign to define all my meanings? I wander like wind that swirls past city streets. Always in motion, never landing. What does my dress mean? A girl who stares and wears the same dress I'm in has all the flair to tempt me. What are you wearing? Your sunny eyes warm my scaly skin like a heat lamp. Looking down at a static angle from the top of a glass box. You cannot see my magic trick. I'm a soft chameleon with sharp teeth. Focus your lens. Let me morph of my own accord. Today will I be red, orange, gray, or blue? I see you slaving away on your novel, magnifying details, avoiding cliche. I wish you could read me like you read Gertrude Stein, like you read Hemingway. <laughs>